my name is Ian Lance. I'm the co-manager of the Temple Bar Investment Trust along uh, with my colleague Nick Purvis. Uh, we've been managing this fund for nearly three years. Uh, we've been investing for over 30 years. The Temple Bar Investment Trust is a uh, value-oriented UK investment trust. So as you'd expect, its, alloc its um, asset allocation is tilted towards those sectors of the UK market, which we regard as the cheapest at the moment. So that would be sectors like energy, which is 20% of the trust. Financials is about another 20%. Um, and consumers discretionary is about another 15%. So the, the sectors which we regard as the cheapest within the UK market. We have um, very low turnover uh, across the cycle, and so often there'll be no changes to the portfolio. But actually, um, in this last period, there has been uh, one change. There's one new stock that's been added to the portfolio, and it's the European car manufacturer Stellantis. Um, the, the brands that Stellantis own are companies like Fiat, Peugeot, Citroën. Uh, in the US, they own um, Jeep and Chrysler. Um, and the, 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 the reasons for buying this were, were, were really around valuation. Um, Stellantis trades on a price earnings ratio of three times. It has a dividend yield of 9%, uh, and amazingly, it has cash on its balance sheet. So actually, the valuation ratios are even better than that. Um, and it's also buying back a lot of stock at the moment. Uh, so it's, it's got a 1.5 billion euro um, share buyback program going on at the moment. So um, we, we think it's a, it, it's a good business and at the moment it's exceptionally cheap. The fund's performance recently has been, has been very good. Um, year to date, the Temple Bar Investment Trust is up 10%, uh, which compares with 5% for the UK market. We're coming up um, to close to the third year anniversary of us starting to run the trust, which was October 2020. And since that date, uh, the trust is up by over 88%, which compares with the UK market of 46%, so an additional 40 percentage points of return. So it's, it, it's been a very good period for uh, performance for the trust. The two holdings that I'd like to talk about um, are Marks and & Spencers and Centrica. Um, and there's a reason for that, that. There's a commonality between both, which is that they are both, to a certain extent, management turnaround stories. Uh, we start with Marks & Spencer. This is a company that we've owned for a few years. There was management change about four years ago. A new management team came in, identified what the strategic um, errors were within the company and set about addressing them. So namely, they have built a, uh, a big online offering, which was something that the company really didn't have a few years ago, and that's been extremely successful. Um, there's been a reorientation of the store portfolio to uh, away from some of the old in-town stores and, and towards larger out-of-town stores, which are much more attractive to consumers. And the, and, the, and the food retail offering has been helped by their, their deal with Ocado. Um, and what we've seen this year is that that, that, that um, strategic turnaround has really started to come through. So we've started to see earnings upgrades with, with the shares um, and actually year to date the shares are up over 80%. So it's, it's a really pleasing one because that, that was a very unpopular share a few years ago um, and actually it's really started to, to deliver. The second one is Centrica. Um, there's a similar story here in that there was management change a few years ago. The new management team um, set about simplifying the business so um, the company had uh, diversified into, for instance, business in the, in the US. And what the new management team did was um, bring the company back to its core business, which is basically energy supply in the UK. Um, and, and that uh, strategic reorientation has really started to pay off this year. Um, they've also undoubtedly been helped by what's been going on within commodity markets. Obviously, we've seen uh, oil and gas prices have been very strong over the last couple of years. That has helped the company. Um, and again, the company's shares are up over 80% um, year to date. What's extraordinary, though, is even after the shares going up that much, uh, the shares trade on a price earnings ratio of five times this year because the earnings have gone up so much. So despite the fact that it's up a lot, um, we still think that's another company which is very cheap. We think the outlook for um, the fund is, is very positive. Um, and the reason for that is the, the low valuation of the UK market. Um, the UK market trades at uh, about a 50 year low uh, relative to MSCI World. So it's a 40% discount in terms of valuation to MSCI World. Uh, the UK also has the highest dividend yield of any market in the world. Um, and now it has the highest buyback yield. So in other words, when we add share buybacks on, it has the highest, highest buyback yield um, of any market in the world. And we think that's a really good 
starting place for investing. Um, obviously, as value investors, we're, we're not buying the whole UK market, we're buying the cheap bits of it. Um, and we are still seeing very, very low valuations across our portfolio. So many of the shares in the top 10 of the trust trade on price earnings ratios of less than 10 and trade on dividend yields of 5, 6, 7%. So given that low valuation, um, we think that's a good starting point. The final thing to say is that a lot of people will say to us, yes, but the UK market's been cheap for a while. What's going to be the catalyst to get that value to come through? And our answer is often to say, well, we think the companies themselves need to try to create value by taking advantage of their low valuation um, by buying back shares. And I think what's interesting right now is that we are starting to see that um, come through in a, in a very large way. So the UK has actually seen the highest percentage of companies buying back shares of any market in the world. So over 50% of UK companies have bought back their own shares in the last 12 months. Uh, we think that's exactly what they th should do. Um, and we think that that is going to be the catalyst for releasing some of this value of the UK market. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that was interesting. If you require any more information about the Temple Bar Investment Trust, uh, either click the link in the description or please visit our website.